have the guest star. Joy is the guest star. Okay. You're the guest star on Human Soldier. So let me just leave then. You at the wrong platform. You on Healing Soldier. She's for, for you too. I just need you. Cause mom thinks that because she became a star all of a sudden on live, it got to her head, and she got hey. fans now. Who got fans? Mom been acting brand new since she's been very comfortable with going on live. Cause before she was nervous wreck, and now okay, she's all like, this. This. "Girl, I got stuff to do. Come on." Next week, she's going to be the host. Okay. But then people are going to complain. Mm -hmm. Healing soldier. Oh. We need to switch it up a bit because mom getting a little too finish. Like she got fans and everything. Well, my you want to come up here? Hey. If I got, if they are happy. Oh, guys, we are finally back. Woo, 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 woo. Guess who's here? The OGs. That's what they call you on YouTube. Oh. Wow. oh. You didn't know that? No. That's what they Same OG. Oh, geez, they're finally back. It's been forever. Do you want you want to know when the last time we all three filmed a video? Yeah. It's been over a year. I know. A year? I've yes. Oh, wow. Year. Actually, I think it's like two years. No, it's no, been a year. Maybe a year. A year and some change. It was actually the day before I said I was pregnant. Oh, yeah. So, the last video, fun fact, Joy was pregnant, but Mom thought she knew. And but then here she is, there's me. <laughs> <laughs> and we have the lovely Belinda, who's famous now. <laughs> no, that. And I'll put all their social media accounts down below over here. Yeah, just not then we have the lovely oh, Joyous Dupree. And then I'll put her Instagram. And of course, follow me. I'm now on TikTok. That's the reason why I kind of been in my eggs. I've been constantly posting TikTok. So follow me on TikTok and I'll put it somewhere over here. And then today we are going to well first let's update because a lot it's been a lot has been going okay. on. Let's do an update. Okay. So Because you two haven't seen me in a while. So update. What have I been doing? I work at my business. Of course I have a travel business, Hobson Travel Services. She been doing and, a lot of lives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been doing a lot of uh, lives in the um and the Hill and Soldiers. Yes, yeah, follow group. the Hill and Soldiers group. Uh, so I've been doing a lot of lives. I've also been doing um, coaching, business coaching and from my Hobson Consulting firm. I've been um, working. working. I've been you meditating. Grandma. I'm a new grandmother. Ooh. I've been enjoying Ooh. that. Um, and I've been healing. Um, <laughs> of, course, <laughs> of course, because I lost. My brother. Oh, yeah, that's true. That, yeah, we you know, we, lo we lost a family member. I lost my brother. So I've been we lost family. him. Well, I don't want to say we lost him. Yeah. yeah. We, we gained. We gained. We gained. We, we, we didn't remember. Yeah. We lost a member. So I've been healing and working and working <laughs> and working. What about you? Time to travel. <laughs> Other than working, it's the mom life for mom me. Yeah. It's mom. the mom life for her. DIYs, crafting, starting new blog. That's pretty much it. When you when you think the blog, blog is coming out, are you gonna give us a little? No, it's a surprise. It's, it's a surprise. She says surprise. Oh, I like to keep people guessing. Okay, mama. Typical. One. Typical. Damn. Typical. Oh, and um. <laughs> 
was going to say, I'll be on a podcast on April 29th. <laughs> Check me out. I'll be talking about um, business and how to help um, people leverage their businesses. And do you want to say what's the podcast called, where they can go watch it? Yes, I will put the information. We'll put below. the information down below, but please but, go support yeah. my mom. This is her first time being a pod class. Yeah. She, also, she already lost her going live for Jimmy. Now it's her <laughs> Now she's coming to pro. Yes. I actually came out of my comfort zone. Mm-hmm. Yes, and Joy forgot to mention that she got a puppy. I did have something for her mommy. Oh, I thought you said that besides becoming a, a mom, mommy. a new mommy. You didn't say that. Yes, I did at the end. Okay. Oh, uh, well, yeah, she's she a became a fur mom. mom. She's officially part of the fur mom. I was her mommy. mommy first before. Well. No, no. no. No, no. Anyway, I got my first baby you, before my baby was born. But technically, you were so. a mom before you came. Right. Mom. Okay, so that was enough for the update. The a dog <laughs> coughing in the background. That's my dog Rosie. Okay. Okay. Hey, I had a feeling you were looking at the question. I was not looking at the question. I put in my notes person. because you know this one is OCD. Everything has to be professional and have to be organized. First one, yes, because mom's like, but did you did you write the questions down? I typed the questions. The first question is, do you think it's harder to date as an alpha female? This one's become very alpha like since she became mom. First, she was an alpha, but now she's not necessarily just because you don't. All alphas don't have to be vocal about being an alpha. A lion don't necessarily. Say I'm lying all day, every day. Do I think it's hard to date as an apple female? No, I don't think it's hard to date, period. I mean, people make things hard. But dating, I don't think it's hard to date if, you, if there's someone to date. Where are you going? But I do believe an apple female definitely has to date a strong man in order to be. In order to be. To respect the man, but hold on, mm-hmm. aren't you? Out- <laughs> I, I, I think do, no. Do you think it's and, hard to date as an alpha? You're a fe- the alpha female. Oh. Have it been hard for you to date? <laughs> what? I don't think it's. Been, I mean, it's been hard for me to date, but not necessarily because I'm an alpha female. It's just hard to date because of expectation. And, and just not knowing your worth and not selling for any bull crap and then knowing what you want. I mean, if you just want to be out there, just date like randomly here and there, bopping from here to there, then. So, has it been hard for you personally? Like your yeah, it's been hard for me to date. Because you feel like, because I know you're alpha female, so do you feel like because of that part? It's been a challenge. Because even though... Because I've noticed... I Okay, so people would say, if you're alpha female, you need to deal with the alpha man. Mm-hmm. But sometimes two alphas <laughs> don't go together. They don't go together. And, I, and sometimes the man, although he's alpha, he may not want you to be all the way alpha like the way he is. I think that that's a balance. So sometimes it's not Because when people alpha. say, like, alpha female, it uh, are you saying an alpha female because... Because in the work environment, like you go get her and you for your work and in your business, or that may not be the same in the relationship because there may be a balance where I could be an alpha female as far as career wise, but then come home and and no step back and stay back and step back a little bit. And I know how to balance those things out. Well, first of all, what is your definition of the alpha? Because like you said, it could have different kind of definitions. So, what is your definition of being an alpha female? Probably just a go-getter and somebody who doesn't say no for an answer. For real. So, that applies to a relationship as well. 
take doesn't take no for an answer. So apply. Well, really, I, mean, I think that you can apply different relationships. I think mm-hmm. like business, you can be a go getter, and and when somebody say no, you can keep going until you get right. yes, and or find a solution. Where in a relationship, you could be more where you. You have great communication skills. You know how to uh, know how to balance it out. Where you know how to uh, compromise. <laughs> Did you hear that? I mean, you have to learn how to compromise. I was gonna say negotiate, but that's business. You negotiate in the business deal. Well, I so I negotiate in relationships too. Yeah, so I said compromise because, like, for instance, I may want to go shopping. He may want to go. So, so it may be a balance. You have to have a balance. You and a compromise. So you may compromise on some things. So mm-hmm. you may not be as alpha in the relationship because you may know how to play your position. Well, why did mom is struggling against her? Did you see she said? Because I wouldn't say negotiating, but negotiation is business. Exactly. Compromise is totally different than negotiation. <laughs> so what is your so if you're alpha female, which is you, what is your personal problem in relationships and dating? Like what are, what is the common occurrence you keep running challenge you keep running into? Probably the compromise part when you want something your way. Sometimes. Sometimes you can step back but other times it's you just want to show what? The challenge that <laughs> I seem to keep running into is not, to me, it doesn't have anything to do with being an alpha female or not. Right. The challenge is uh, people being honest and upfront about what they want. That's the challenge, is actually knowing that we are mature enough to be able to be honest about what we want. And if it's, I just want to. Smash, as you people call it today, then that's what you say. <laughs> no, I'm just saying that's what you say. If you want a relationship, if you want a relationship, then you say that, and then let's see where that goes. But healthy communication. When things are not working, then you say, "Hey, I need this," or "This is not working," and you work on it. Because no one's a mind reader and no relationship is going to work unless you have healthy communication and you work on it. And you're committed to it if that's what you want. But it's about being honest. That's the important. Honesty. Honesty. I think the problem that I'm running to as an alpha female is that... Wait, what is the problem that I'm running to as an alpha female? Yeah, let me see. I think it's the assumption of they think that I need a whole castle or something to make me happy and that's not true. Because I'll simply say, oh, I'll be like, oh, I like this. And they're like, no, you, this is what you need. I'm like, oh, I want this and like this is what you need. Like I'm here and they're there. And because they feel like they're not there, they can't give me what I want, although I'm asking for here. But do you necessarily see that as an alpha female or maybe because, you know, sometimes (laughs) men tend to think if a woman is small, petite, kind of, that, oh, she needs more help, and oh, she's just, don't like, sound. don't sound, and, and, and no, she, this is what you need, kind of thing, and don't realize that you're a, you really an alpha female. <laughs> mm-hmm. And so well, you run into that. Right, so you run into them treating you like you're helpless, and you're like, no, that's not what I want. But they're thinking, oh, no, you, this is it, kind of thing. But do I come off? No, I'm just saying men tend to think smaller women, shorter or smaller, tend to think more like more docile. You have that problem? No, probably because of, not really attitude, maybe my demeanor in certain things. I don't act properly. I'm not saying you act but I just don't. But I see why. But I, but yeah, I can see why they would because your demeanor may come comes on more like, oh, help me, help me, kind of thing. But you know but yet, what? You're not you that know, person. You know what's you so those funny? Vibes out. You know what's so funny? My the way I act it was the same way my mom acted when she was my age. So I'm just imagine that. That how I come off. This is how you were when you're my age. Except for you were definitely more stuck. Not stuck, but you were definitely more like conceited. You were all, yes, you were. 
You would not talk to somebody because you didn't like the color of their shoes. Or I was just convinced that's her. Right. Right. Just just so. so. <laughs> Even the color. <laughs> oh, okay. I didn't. I didn't like his tie and his suit. So. Oh, I think we. I think everybody has some shallow or I, I mean, mean point in their life. Whether you was like, oh, I'm dating him because you know he the job. I'm dating because he got a nice I've car. I've never had whatever. a shallow point in my life no, with a guy. Really? I don't think so. Mm. I don't think this so. Somebody doing a date certain type of Yeah, you. Know. Well, that was like that was like that's a, that was a track. That's that shallow. And I think I'm going back to that now. And hopefully, not shallow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the next question is: What is the obstacle that you have in relationship dating with your with your character traits? Because all of us have different character traits. So, what is a obstacle that you have in relationship? Or dating with your character traits. With me, my character, who I am. Yes, like with think about your personality, mm-hmm. and what is the obstacle that keeps occurring every time you date or your relationship based off of your personality, like your oh, person okay. traits. Okay, for me, it's because I am honest. Yeah. I, and I do say it, say things, and then people. Yeah, she does. You know, they, they either be like, "Oh wow, you know, you just straight to the point," or I don't think they're used to dealing with honesty. And so, if I you just say, no one's used to dealing with. Them. No, I'm just saying. I think that a lot of people are not used to someone who is open and honest about things all just the all the time, and so they take that as like you're not real or you're fake. Or it can't be that simple. So that's the obstacle. You know what? Maybe it's not honesty. Maybe because we are, we tend to be more vulnerable and open with our emotions, and a lot of people aren't. Mm -hmm. They're not used to talking about their having conversations about how they feel and stuff like that. So maybe they just don't know how to deal with the the vulnerability, like like how you're open and talk about your feelings and emotions. Yeah, and it could be that. Maybe yeah. it's not honest. And I just tell you what I want. I don't assume that you know what I want or what I need. So I just I tell you know I say it. You know, is that the only obstacle mm-hmm. that you have? I mean, you have a lot of different characters. <laughs> <laughs> what you trying to call it? I think because um, compromising. I mean, no, I can compromise if budget. I want to. <laughs> I can budget. <laughs> 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 I don't know why you think I can't com- I compromise all the time. Look at your red face. Look at your red face. But I compromise all the time. I mean, Look your red face. even in you know my previous marriage, think about it. How many years it lasts? I compromise. Think about the things that I, don't know I why compromise. People, I don't know why mom said don't use that as an example. That is not an example. It is an example. You say you, you're saying I can't compromise, but think you about are, the things I compromise for, for somebody for all these for those you amount of years the for someone else. You do the same. Of course, as long as it's reciprocated. Mm-hmm. So about you, I mean. Are you honest? I'm Is that all your charismatic traits? Look, I'm just perfect. I mean, for me, I think mm-hmm. no, those are not all my characteristic traits. That obstacle with see, I don't see an obstacle with dating me. <laughs> well, of course, it's you, right? <laughs> I know, right? But I'm no, saying, no, no, no. what I'm saying is, if a person truly comes with good intentions and they're genuine, I like genuine people. And if you're honest, we don't have any problems. It's just when you don't the be problems honest. occur, so <laughs> because that occur out of I not know, being I'm honest. Play, I'm just I know. That could occur as not being honest or not believing that you can actually be honest. True. I think a lot of people think, oh no, you know, if you say, well, just tell me, like, no, I can't tell. But you can actually be honest. I'm okay with that. Give me a choice. And when I say that, I really mean, like, give me a choice. What about you? Mm, I'm just perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Dating me. <laughs> <laughs> 
Dang, I got some late this year. I've been single for how long? Shoot, seven years before. Before you? Are you counting? Are you counting? So, <laughs> so I'm saying shit. Yeah. No, you got, I mean, but you gotta think about it. Like, we kind of get set in there our ways goes, sometimes. There, go, there goes Leaper. Her Leaper side coming in. Right, we do get set in our ways. Um, what would be an obstacle? I guess, um, yeah, I could say being a Libra shutting down. Not sometimes not taking things probably as serious as the other thing others. Um, cause we're just not that deep for air. I mean, you can't get deep for air. Yes. So something that might be deep for somebody. Pressure, pressure. Or they might need they that. Not saying I'm not emotional, but if they need <laughs> that emotion at that time, <laughs> that's I might be there. But then when you're dating somebody, that, I'm not saying he's not emotional, but it's, he's not like a crybaby. So that wouldn't be a, a, that's not an obstacle. And I guess maybe because we're honest and sometimes like too honest, it can be like how you say it. And although you don't mean it to say it that way, it might come off a way and you don't mean nothing by it. So how does that work as romantic wise? So if you're if two you people are not really emotional, you can be no, you can be romantic. I'm not saying we're not no. emotional. Gushy, gushy. It's not <laughs> like some people are just gushy and crybabies. I'm not a crybaby at all. And it's just well, you're not crybaby, but you're gushy. I like romance. I like yeah, romance. you Hallmark. Hallmark. Movies. Yeah, that sums up. I mean, but everybody loves the Hallmark. Movie. Right. Except this one's like Lifetime. Well, I like we got enough Lifetime going on. We do not. I don't need Lifetime. I need the fantasy part. Well, I like mystery investigation. I do too. I'm like, I mean, definitely yeah, like but Lifetime is real life stories. Right. Like, I like and the, like, I like how I got away with murder. Yeah. Like, this yeah. I like the authentic vibe. No. No, give me a little fantasy because I we already live in lifetime. Right. You can turn <laughs> life on. You lifetime. see lifetime every Actually, day. Shirt lifetime lifestyle. Yeah, no. <laughs> give me some Hallmark. Let me just live in fantasy for right. the moment. Shoot. Um, for me, I don't know. What would be my obstacle trick? Oh, that's because I'm too like I'm too like free. <laughs> <laughs> But why do you mom look at me like that? Like, no, but what <laughs> what I mean by free is like I'm so no. <laughs> no, like a lot of okay. I guess my mindset. Cause I'm like, sure, we can do this, we can do that, we can get that, we can try that. Da, 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 da. And then I think guys just be like, okay, you're just too like, woo. You know? Does that make sense? Not I mean, like I out there, like everywhere. You know what I mean? Because I'm still trying to think I'm still in sacred, but I'm just saying like I'm not like free She's like that. I'm talking about like free, down. like explore and go and do. And, but then, see, that's how I was raised. So I yeah. I just don't understand why people like, more like like come on, yeah. And that's just that's yeah. Come on. It's when some it's, people whoa. more rigid. Yeah, and they're just like and not as flexible. And I think that makes some people nervous because they're like, uh huh. Where's your boundaries? Like, where's the limit? Yeah, because you not you, you, you outside your comfort zone. Ooh, like, even if it's something it. you haven't done, you know, you'd be like, okay, you know, let's oh, let's go bungee jumping. You may okay, yeah, you yeah. know, you haven't done it. Heck yeah, let's but go. some people be like, oh my goodness, like. They stay in that conference. Or they'll try to throw out something like, yeah, let's go do it. And like, I didn't think you agreed to it. Right. You should have mentioned it. Right. When we going to go? When we going? You should have mentioned it. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. And I think that makes guys nervous because they're like... You think you can sit? I don't mm -hmm. know. But why would it, why would that make people... I mean, why, it wouldn't make you nervous. I mean, that's not something... I don't know. I don't necessarily... See, I don't necessarily think that things like that make... Every guy nervous. I think that when you run into someone who's in a thing. box or just mm -hmm. not where you are in life or mm -hmm. in your perspectives, then it becomes an issue because where you might be saying, you know, somebody saying, hey, you know, let's go, to, you know, to 
Antarctica and you be like oh that sounds right let's go and then they be like oh my goodness she for real you know be like oh you know she for real and then they're not accustomed to coming out their comfort zone because but you have to live your life you know what I mean like no, explore but like come. Your right, definition, right, right, right. definition of living life is something different. Mm-hmm. You know, True. and then you gotta awesome. think it's different. I mean, I would say like growing up being a military child by you being accustomed to having to move and and move be flexible and move and readjust and make new friends and get to know people it kind of always took you out of your comfort zone right. so as so you become yeah. used to that then it's easy to come outside that comfort zone and be willing to up and move and do and go where someone who hasn't had to do that that would be nerve wracking or, or fearful for them. Mm-hmm. Mm. Or intimidating. I got that a lot. Intimidation. Yeah. Yeah, intimidation. I don't, I, don't, I, I can't intimidate anybody. Shoot, I'm the nicest person on this panel. So for me to be intimidating. She's getting paid out. Uh, uh, this is Petty Queen. So. Oh. Who not? Who t- I'm the nicest one. Between no. who? All three of us. I'm the nicest girl back. No. 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 <laughs> that sounds good for me. Yeah, yeah, just for one high. I, I did. I, I wouldn't believe it. I was trying to get there. You had went from Lifetime to Hallmark. <laughs> right. <laughs> no. That didn't no, happen. No, you were Lifetime. Right. Who is the nicest? Me? None of, nobody's the nicest. Mm-hmm. Nobody. Three of us. Nope, nope, nobody. I rank number one. Mom no. ranked number two. No. No. Oh, it's like trying to figure out how to throw you at least have some kind of thing between yourself. Don't just cut your head off. I have those things. Snow crab with the little... <laughs> the pinchers. The horn. Not the horn. Oh, the little thorns. The little thorns. I was thinking. No, it was the snow. It was the snow. It was the snow. king crab. Mm-hmm. Those are crispy. Mm-hmm. If you push them, that really walks out. But, no, out of all three of us, nobody's the nicest. Yes, I am. I mean, we all have our mom. Nice. Yeah, she don't know yet. No, she doesn't know. She never keeps on. Well, she's nice to me. I never have a sister. She's nice to me. She's nice to me. We all have our moments. And we have our moments. And so, some of us have more. No, I'm saying, in some instances. I feel like you're in some way. You're in some way. Everybody. <laughs> I mean, in some yeah, instances we're nicer in one instant, what other may not, and then in okay, give us an example mm-hmm. since you want to be sense. so a teacher. No, I'm just saying. Go ahead. Right. 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 Okay. Right. For right. instance, we can be out and about, and someone needs like you have someone come up to us, a homeless no. person, and they'll ask for something. <laughs> Why are you so dramatic? No, first right. of all, yeah, I'm not going yeah. away to a homeless person. But you don't let me finish. No, but mom, you're the type of person when somebody no, comes up me, to us, you like, why are you coming up to us? That's what I was about to say if I would have been finished. I was about to say that you asked me for an instant. I was about to say something like that. Like, Joy be quick to buy a meal or or give someone her food where I'll be like, oh, I don't know them and roll up my window. Or most of the time, be like, oh, don't even talk to me because... I'm like, because if you say it. something out the way, then I'm going to say something and this may go left. And then mom's like, say thing, say thing, regular, regular, yeah. regular, so, so I'm more like that where they're more like, oh, you know, so that's what I'm saying. So we each have our own moment. Okay. But then, other instances. but another instance, like for instance, <laughs> I'm more tolerant, tolerant oh, of people. You know, you know, she, when she exaggerate, it's hard for you. Yeah. I'm more tolerant of certain behaviors of people. I'll be like, oh, that's just so and so. Or, oh, okay, no, no, you know. Where, yeah, where you'll be like, really? And I'll be like, what are you talking about? Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Yeah. Yeah. I am. This is her. I don't have time to stick to me today. I don't. Okay. okay. It does. But <laughs> I'm more tolerant. I need some more instances. More tolerant? I am. I am. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay.
I don't know. Because you know, how many times you're like, Mom, you should just. And I'd be like, No. But she used more tolerant. Like, out of all three of us. I am a more tolerant. Because she'd be like, Oh, no, I would have just. And then I'd be like, Oh, no. It's the opposite of that. Well, she can't. We're going to have a therapy session, guys, okay? So that's fine. So give us one more example. I'm not giving any more. Y'all give an example. No. Where's your POV? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, my point of view is that, well, I was going to say humble, but I'm, you know. I mean, we're, I'm humble. Mine yeah. is we're more, humble. I'm more helpful. Like, more like, oh, to maybe to we should figure out. To who? Who? <laughs> who? Animals. Okay. Like animals. Yeah, okay. See how I feel? Animals. I'm happy too, but I'm not animals. Yeah. Animal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look, I, I'm listening to one of you right now. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just like, oh, every time you <laughs> say that, I just remember like that to her. <laughs> That's case you had it. Okay. <laughs> what's your example? No, I'm just listening. No, what's your example? Because, because you are not the most tolerant. <laughs> I am. First of all, no. Mm-hmm. Mom. You're the most tolerant? Yes. Next time something comes out, I'm going to show you. I'm going to be like, okay. No, she tried to put a point. No, I'm going to be like, it's, see how It'll be natural. It'll be natural. It is natural. And you don't have to be like, next time. No, because I want to point it out. No, because she, that's the cancer. Prevent, prevent point. No, I just want to point it out. Then, uh, <laughs> Show y'all how more tolerant. You see how we're doing Quentin just flowing out. I'm friendlier. Ah! <laughs> I'm not. It's okay. Mom's friendly. It's okay. And the mom's friendly. Yeah. <laughs> Mom, where, where did you have it work today? She had a wiggle. <laughs> okay. I am. Out of the three of us, she going out of the three of us. Fr- the friendliest. Yes. And how are you <laughs> in the training of Lee at all of you? Uh, when did you decide it? Did you decide it before you got on camera? Yes, maybe. <laughs> okay, so one more shot, one shot. Yes, yesterday, we're starting to get all the You know what? I'm the most humble. Okay. I'm the most humble. Okay. 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 Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You are not the most open. No, and you are not. Social. You are not open. Well, since mom can claim things, I can claim things. Well, stop claiming because that's wrong. <laughs> what she did was wrong. You are not. No, you're not open at all. Not, I mean, not in a sense that you're not open at all, but you are not just open. No. I'm not going to do it. Oh, we're going to go bungee jump. I mean, you are, but you ain't going to be the first one to mention it. But I would do it. And you very private mm-hmm. about simple she, stuff. It's, but it's funny. I'm, on, I'm the one on social media. Yeah, but yeah, that's, 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 that's but what's who controlling got you on your there? narrative. But who got you on there, though? Huh? First of all, oh, she gave an example. Why she has to? Where's your example? What's your example? Is that mine? Exactly. Hey, that's mine. Well, you, you don't have to have examples. <laughs> <laughs> And a few moments. Oh, a few moments. No, you said next time. This is next that time. is the next time. <laughs> okay, next question. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you see, oh, you see, you hear that up there? What? Do you hear? Mm-hmm. She's about to be petty. Mm-hmm. She wait, wait, that's question because she mm-hmm. wanted to be petty. What? <laughs> Do you believe zodiac signs about compatibility comes into play? Some people said, stop always bringing up Zodiac signs because I have nothing to do with anything. That's mine. Really? That's my head. The one who shots, sh- sh- shout outs the whole description of each Zodiac sign. No! <laughs> you know what? Down to the mathematical calculation. Here's the thing. I do agree. I think that anything you want to make work, you can make it work because it's what you want to accept to right. make it work. But yes, I do believe, the reason I believe that 
not necessarily, okay, zodiac sign come to play because we're born in a season and a month and a date for a reason. Even though they put names on it, you got to think the universe, where was the moon placement, and stuff like different mm-hmm. things. Like, I think that comes into play about personality because right. it's, I'm not saying that every cancer is going to be like me because if you read it and really study, you will know depending on the different day, the different time, and also yeah, the well, different maturity the level, planet, the different right. right. It's a lot of other things. Come the word that Earth right. is shifting. And then you right. can't believe in retrograde, and then not necessarily believe in horoscope. Like, right. If you believe retrograde controls things, then nice. And I don't think you believe in the universe and don't believe in horoscopes because because it because they just put a name on it. They just right. got a time. I'm part of the zodiac plays a part. You don't not saying you 100 percent. Nobody's 100 no. percent anything. But, like, I can go read, like, okay, cancer, something about, like, personality and traits. And I know that some of those traits are me. Then some may not be me because of my, first and foremost, because of my experience. Yeah. So, your experience is going to determine, it's going to either change. It's going to change you, but how does it change you? Right. You know, so that's going to come into play. You know, so where I've been, the people I've met, you know, you we kind of take a piece of everything. So my my environment, a lot of stuff. So we may not necessarily be, we're not going to be 100%, but we're going to have some traits of that person. Mm-hmm. And I can guarantee you that if you don't know someone and you've been around and they're doing certain things and you have not asked them their zodiac sign and they tell you, you and if you really know about them, you'll be like, mm-hmm. <laughs> You'll be like, yeah. I can tell. Exactly. Exactly. So Right, because they because they have they they're exemplifying some characteristic, if not all the characteristics. Yeah, some people really do all of them. So yes, I I think it comes into play, but like Joy said, you can make anything work, it's what you're willing to take. And I don't care if you're compatible. What are you willing right. to accept and what are you willing to take? What are you willing to compromise on? Because in a relationship, that's what it comes down to. What are you willing to accept and what's, what's your non negotiable what you can compromise on? Because we're human. You know, if I say, well, I'm not willing to accept if he's going to leave his shoes at the front door. So if I walk in his shoes at the front door, I'm going to pack my stuff and leave. Well, somebody be like, girl, that's stupid. So why he left the shoes at the front door? Right. Or, Hey, I don't feel like picking them up today. Right, but in some households, as we know, that you you leave your shoes at the front door, yeah. or you leave them outside. So that's what I'm saying. It's about what you're willing to accept and compromise on to make it work. You know, there are some people that be like, "Oh, what's your sun sign? What's your sun rising?" Like, what's mm-hmm. the difference? Because depending on the placement, okay. I just, so Sagittarius, my what? Sun? Yes. Well, then I don't know my rising. So, so like me, okay. You say, for instance, like okay, you say I'm a Cancer. Okay, yeah. Overall, that's my overall supposed to be my overall person out to whatever. But when you get deeper, your moon is supposed to be your emotion. I'm cancer. Yeah. So, but when you get deeper, that's she's towards if her. you. Right, so so sometimes you see when I say when I tell people like I'm rebellion. Okay, think about it. I have that Taurus placement, mm-hmm. and Taurus like they will just tap the china shop. I know why she was, you know. But then you think about it when you look at my Venus like Gemini. So I love differently, you know. I got figure out what my Venus is. I thought I knew it. So it, it's just so it's. It's different, so you don't necessarily have. There she go, Miss Professor. Like you don't have. That's what I say. You're I not one hundred percent. I know. I think. I know. I did hers. Yeah, it's like you're not a hundred percent of of one because I'm a cancer. I'm not a one hundred percent cancer traits because I have other things now in other said, places. Definitely not a cancer. I can tell you that. Right. I know. What's your rising? Your Mer- Oh, your Venus. Venus. <laughs> It's your love. So why are you? Oh, my Venus is your love. What's your love. rising then? What's your moon then? Taurus. Why you know? How, you can tell it by your moon. No, I said my yeah. rising. That's your moon. No, moon it's rising. Not. I thought you don't have a moon in your rising. rising. Yeah, there's got sun, moon, and rising. Yeah, your your moon is your rising. No, it's yeah, the moon. Yeah. Okay, and then Google it. Mom said she's educated. She's educated mm-hmm. expert level. No, I'm not. I'm just saying, we, we, we all agree. 
we're going to all just Google it to see what the water is. <laughs> is it mercury or something? I screenshot mine. Yeah, right. It's a different sign. What is your sun, moon, and rising sign? So what is the rising? Rising is your personality. Social personality. Okay, but what but what is the planet that that your rising is co- comes yeah. out of? I just know my main sign is Sagittarius and my moon sign is Cancer. That's what I kept. I'm Taurus and I know my Venus is in Gemini. That's I important. Take a picture. I mean, if you you know you want to kind of figure you out a Well, first of all, Mom can't get my birth time right. Oh, Mercury. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Your Mercury rising. Yes, I did. What you mean? I'm just everything. You have your birth time. I'm not doing your birth time. You just can't remember your birth time. No, you know. No, you are not six o'clock. It is your hour before joy. Three years after her. So she was born at six. What? Eighteen. So that means you were born at five. What? Nineteen. Okay. Eighteen. I always told you that. Well, no I wonder why favorite. my favorite number is five. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Don't worry, you ask another did you, few did months. You, did you did you research the mm-hmm. Okay, what is the biggest misconception that you think people have about you? The biggest misconception. The biggest misconception people have about me is that I am what they call bougie <laughs> or stucker. I'm not. <laughs> Or high maintenance, or whatever they want to call it. Well, I mean, if you don't want to maintain it, why does it matter? Well, that's true. But I'm saying that's the biggest, that's the biggest misconception. So when people have that that perception of you, then they think that it takes a, a lot, or they think that every time you do something, it has to be like. Oh, you know, we're going to go to dinner. It's got to be five stars. That's, the, that's what I was saying earlier that when I could just be like, oh, I want this piece of chocolate. But then uh, usually men like, no, you're going to want this and that and that and right. that. And it's like all I said is I want this piece of chocolate. Right. And so, Unless I'm in my son, my son short. No, sometimes you don't want all that extra. But they always think that they have to do all that. And if not, they can't be with me. Like, right. But I just say I just want this. Like they tell me what I'm, what I'm. So that's the posted. that misconception of. It's probably why you'll be single for a minute. Not like <laughs> even personally, but like in general. And so someone really me comes and in and wants to get to know you <laughs> and find out. Shoot, you know she want to go check from chick. So that's the reason why you're single for a minute. Uh, possibly. Um, a lot of times, yeah. You know, well, a lot of guys man. I know when I was younger thought Joel was the biggest flirt. Like she probably had a lot of guys. Like she talked to a lot of guys. That's what a lot of people thought. Because that's her person. A lot of guys would say that around me. They're like, oh, your sister, she's like the biggest girl. She probably got a bunch of guys wanting to. See, and that's what I'm saying. A really big. Mix. And they always say that I'm not the. I'm probably not gonna be the only guy talking to her. And that's the big. I heard that because that's just her personality, and that just period. Why well, is it not friendly? And no, uh, it's flirty. <laughs> <laughs> no, but some people have that personality. What personality? That they just go ahead, say it. Go ahead, say it. Go ahead, what, say friendly? it. Friendly? She don't want to say that. Don't mean friendly. Well, friendly. Yeah, don't mean friendly. Don't mean Oh, no. Or that people are drawn to. Because, like, <laughs> there are times that people just are drawn to certain people. And they yeah, just come up and just right, talk. And you. just talk. And you don't know them. And you, you treat them like them more than talk. <laughs> No, that's not the point. Right? Oh, okay. No, but I'm saying, and when when you have that type of personality, like a magnetic personality, then when people see people just drawn to you and come to you, then they assume, oh, you know, you got, and you don't realize. I don't even know these people. They just somehow just a lot of people think them. that they could just go to joy, but I'm like, if you really know her real personality. Yeah, and some people have that magnetic personality. People just drawn to, and when people see that, whether it's male or female, then if they see it, and this a male, he like, oh, see, she got got a lot. You of have that trick, that trick, that magic trick personality. People are like, oh yeah, she's so friendly. Oh yeah, she's so nice, and then she can be I mean, talking about. Thinks I'm friendly and nice. Yeah, every thanks. That's the key. <laughs> well, I mean, you. I mean, I am. Yeah. It's not like I'm trying to trick somebody. But like, oh, come here, come here now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a black widow. No, I mean she is, and and just just have people. I'm saying 
just magnetically just will come up and start so talking. So we so. have that, me and you. Um, yeah, my mind. <laughs> but that's just because she's a friendly. She has, she can't, she just. No, 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 I'm not being friendly. I'm saying, yes. But it makes, for some people, they, they may draw people who just, uh, oh, happy go lucky. And that's those are like, <laughs> You see her face? She was mimicking she was mimicking you. Yeah, draw people that want to dump all their problems on you. It, it's always she different. Like somebody wanna come and say, Oh, let me dump this on you. She oh, thank you. I feel good. Her <laughs> well, some people have people that come and they're friendly and talking and laughing and and then you have those of us that people wanna just dump all their crap on. Me, you my problem. Yeah, and you like, you know, I don't want to hear your problems because I like <laughs> Yeah, I got enough life time. That's the problem, yeah, apparently. No, I have enough life time. So what's the biggest misconception of you? Me? The biggest misconception of me is that they think that I'm like this mean, stuck-up girl that you have to be part of the clique and it's not. Wait. Can I have a moment, please? Uh, did we hear that right? Honesty. This is honesty. Misconception. The misconception. Very nice. I have a lot of people who are very nice. Yes. We're talking about like my friends, like Justin Harmon or something. Well, please stop. I don't want to come off like you're not friends because you are friends. Thank you. Hoping to keep. Uh, people think that I've, I've always formed some type of clique and if you, it's like an A-list team or something and if you're not part of it then like I cancel you or something and that's not Are you sure you don't? I'm just asking you will cancel you I mean I will cancel you but I, I don't have a clique I don't know why people think I'm so cliquish like yeah. Click, 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 click. I did the same thing. Like you have to be like at this level, and you have to be look like this, and you have to dress like this, and you have to hold yourself. Well, I mean, okay, the truth is, I do have standards. Like, yeah, but I'm not saying that with your friends friend. as far as how they look. look what I look, but maybe what they, how they hold themselves, like hold themselves, like something. I mean, if you're, if you're a I person of substance, I'm sure you want to be around people of substance. Yes, I have. I'm That's not right with that of having standards in that. You don't want to be like, oh, I just go and hang out with anybody, you know. Yes, I, no, that I'm makes with sense. With people of substance, so maybe. Oh, okay. that's probably why the cliquish part comes out. Mm. I think everybody should have standards. If you're a person of substance, you should hang around people of substance. That just makes sense to me. Well, you're just trying to have fun. I mean... But the people uh, that have substance substance have fun, but you don't want to be like, okay, well, I'm going to go here and hang out with this ex murderer, and then we're going to have fun. Yeah, until you want to go I have a friend that attracts people like that. You hang out with different groups of friends. Right. You want different types of fun. Right. But they all are substance. Substance. I guess. Yeah, because I'm like, I have different friends that I hang out with because, like you say, you like different, you do different things and you like different fun. I think all but my friends, all of my friends have substance. So I'm not going to go hang out over here with X murderer because he like to have fun. Yeah, we're in the bar, but when you leave the bar, you have to drink. You now, I, think he's I mean, but when you leave the bar, you leave with him. You ain't going to go with him. No, I, but no, you I may, think, but I think substance mean they carry themselves a certain way. I'm thinking on that terms. Yeah. That's where the click part comes in. That's when it's like, oh, only doctors hang with doctors. Because that's like the substance part. Some Yeah, oh. now that's boring. That, uh, if, but if see, you they, hang, but they, but they have, I mean, we have fun. We have fun. I don't care what. We carry ourselves a certain way. Yeah, because that's you got morals and character <laughs> and Okay. And if anything okay, else, okay. it's kind of like. And then a lot of people have morals and character. So what you don't mean they can't be friends. 
<laughs> no, what are you doing? Mine's not my job. Mine's clickish, too. I'm not clickish at all. Like, I have like, a wide diversity. I'm not clickish. We're very nice. It's just... Yeah, we're yeah. nice, but it's like. But of course, I'm not gonna hang with any of them. Joy is very open, though. Yeah. That, I was just thinking. <laughs> now, in that category, she was way more open than either one of us. Right. Because well, sometimes well, friends yeah. are just friends. Like, you don't have. Yeah. You need every oh, yeah. friend for that's every her. part of your that's life. Her. Like, that's I her. have this friend, we can go do this. That's why she attracts. So, if they, they want to go kill somebody, that's on them. No, because they may cut and track back to me. <laughs> no, not necessarily. I don't need that in you. Yeah, that sounds true. Mm-hmm. That's on them. That sounds too stressful. I mean, now, I, now, not to get that extreme. Now, I'm okay if I say, if I have maybe. A girlfriend who likes, you know, just do her thing and be free and whatever. Oh, you mean like sleep around? I don't know my, <laughs> my next one was going to be. <laughs> be then she can do her. Right. We can party half one. Yeah, I don't. But mommy, I like you. Really then don't, I go, we don't want any more No, but that's her. That's that's a choice you make. I'm not. Right. It's not the choices. Right. I'm. I'm an adult. If that's the choice that you want to make as far as in that category of your life, then that's the part that you, you have to make and live with. I'm not judgmental. You know? But then that's where I guess people can be confused when you say of substance. That might not be morally correct to go sleep with a hundred men. Well, I, but, but see, I guess well, your yeah. group of friends are Right, you the type of person that you sleep with yeah. everybody's man or can hang out with you. No, I'm not talking mm-hmm. about the person. Certain people. energy, I can't. No. I just don't. I'm not talking about, talking about this. Yeah, that's what a click in your group, from. like mm-hmm. sleeping with. No, who well, I wouldn't want to be with someone that well, within the group, but I'm sleeping like, with somebody else. This or that because when people say birds of feather flock together, yes or no? No, because I'm be flocking. <laughs> No, because I'm saying, like, you, know, you like she said, you can have a friend that sleeps with a hundred men, but that don't necessarily mean you do. I mean, you like her because of the fun y'all might have. Y'all go out and do it. She has a hard. Right. Right. But what's she doing in her personal life? What you do in your personal life? Because right. you don't want them to know what you may do in your personal life. But you may not even agree. You may have told your friend, hey, look, I... I, you shouldn't do that, you know. Right. What, but but her reasoning for it may be like, okay, if that's your reasoning for it, then that's your life. That's your choice in life. Only thing I can do as a friend is just to have hey, maybe this, but maybe her reason for it is like, hey, I don't want a serious relationship like you. I just, right. if I like somebody, I just want to be able to do what I do. Okay, then I can't I take like that. I'm I can't take that away from that person and be like, well, I can't. That's their choice. But they may be like, well, I don't want you want to be serious with somebody. Well, I don't want to be with you. Well, be your friend. That that. So would you be friends with somebody who you know is sleeping with a married man? Or yeah, I, have plenty, I mean, I've been friends with plenty of people that sleep with married can't. people. I mean, don't mean I'm gonna do it. Just right. I I, I, I have part. not. I, ha- I don't have not one friend that had messed or flirted with somebody who was married. Well, they just live a little longer. <laughs> <laughs> and if yeah. so, maybe they never told me because yeah. I don't know. And I mean, not that, believe me, not that I agree with that. What I'm saying is, that because that's my friend has you. done that, right, that's my choice. I may have said something and disagreed and get, gave my opinion why, whatever. But yet, I know that person. That's my friend. I know her heart. I know her. So that's not going to be detrimental to my relationship friendship with her. That's just something she know you can't do with me. You don't. You don't bring that around me. I don't agree with that. So we good on that. Because sometimes you can have those type of friends that attract that negative energy, and then all of a sudden. Is the whole groups get hit with that energy? Like, but no, um, like they bring their problems. See, see, that's where the click comes. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Because I think because the thing about it, if you have a friend that you know and you know they hard, you know who they are, and just because they're making a a personal choice in their life to it's date somebody, it, well, they married or relationship or see whatever it is. You got to allow them to make that decision. You are not the person to make that decision. There may be things in your life that that person will say, well, I wouldn't do that. But that's your choice. It's good for you. Mm -hmm. There probably is. But I don't know. Because everybody, I mean, that's, I think that's the problem. Most, everybody thinks that every woman wants a committed relationship. Mm -hmm. 
Right. And that's not necessarily true. Or want to settle down. Right. right. Some women don't. They, just like some men don't want to settle down. Okay, women. Never. There's a lot of women that don't. They have their careers and they just, mm-hmm. it's like, okay, when I'm with you, I'm with you. And sometimes for them, I'm not saying it's right. That that may be what's convenient for them. I don't agree with it. And you know, then sometimes you have people that go in, you know, they get divorced, they go, and then they like, okay, I want to focus on this. I don't want to be married. So I just want to do this, and this is what I want. So we can't assume that everybody wants the same thing in relationship. But I'm not the one to judge. I may say, hey, I I don't agree with that. But that's her choice. That's his choice. And one of my friends, if that happened to one of my friends, I don't think I would probably stop being their friend because of that. Right, so that's what I'm saying. Because we were friends first, and maybe something happened, like, I mean, a lot of things can happen. He could really, but she could really believe he was single. There are men that are really or good she at. Knew he was married. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you're right. There's a there's a lot of not just men. And that's what that's a lot of men and women <laughs> that they got so they have so much freedom in their marriage until the single person really think they're married. I mean that they're single. <laughs> Okay, fun fact story. I was on Bumble, right? And there's this guy. Ga- well, what keyword pass? Mm-hmm. Not, I don't know if that But I was on Bumble, and there's this guy that I mean, I was like, he could tell he was married by looking at his photos, and I'm like, well, what are you doing on a dating app? He said, oh, my wife is fine with it. We have an open marriage, and and that's why I'm on this app because I guess that that's how they find their third. Mm. You know, join them. Trouble. Oh, and I mean, his bio, he was straightforward. I'm married, open relationship. That's we what I'm saying. Some people do. Mm. And some people have. I'm like, it's I'm like to the, to <laughs> Well, some people to the point, he go do his thing, I mean, she go do her thing, they come home, home each other, and it works. But that's what I'm saying. Every so Everybody don't have the same relationships or, or situationships or Mars that. You may have. They could be a good person as far as a friend, but that don't mean that we're going to agree on everything. Like, you're my friend, so we're just alike. Like, no, we're not. So, you uh, hung out with somebody sleeping, knowing, willingly sleep with me. Oh, yeah. Babe, I was in the military, yes. Well, yeah, that is true about the military. Yeah, so, yes. But the point is, when you know your friend, you oh, know like. Did she ever friend. get beat up? I'm just kidding. You just sat there. You just sat there. You just sat there. And you like, oh, I can't get involved in that. I'm just curious. Well, first and foremost, I just feel like I'm just that saying. was the type of woman that ended up getting involved with. I'm saying, here's my take on this. If the wife comes in and and, <laughs> and, and, and there's an altercation between you and the wife. I don't have anything to do with it because I don't know what's been going on outside. Now, what will not happen is the wife plus somebody else. Now, that's not going to happen. I figure as a woman, whatever you do, as I told you growing up, there's a consequence. Whether it's good, bad, or indifferent. Mm-hmm. So, if the wife comes in and or y'all meet up or somehow and there's that altercation... I can't jump in that. You know, I can say, hey, come on, let's go. You know, it ain't no sense of fighting. Away. But I can't jump into that because I don't know what has transpired that to get it to this point. But now what's not going to happen is it will be wife and a friend. Yeah. That's not going to happen. Mm-hmm. That, not at all. Just that's just one fight. Casualties of war. I ain't got nothing to do with that. Right. As far as the one-on-one. One on one, because I don't know... Yeah, you know, so did my friend call friend, this woman or did my friend so your go friend to the house? Was He's married as a casualty. Right. Or I don't care. Well, I don't care. <laughs> right. It is. Long so, long basically, long. said he was out at a restaurant mm-hmm. and his wife came in mm-hmm. and just started fighting by beating your friend up. You going to sit there and be like, that's a casualty of war. I mean, she knew he was married. That's right. Like and I would think that. And she's like, oh, girl, you know, I took his car. I, I drove his car to meet Well, then I know room. that. So she come in. She come in, it's going to be something. And I would think like, that being intelligent, if you put yourself in that situation, yeah. you know the why. You know. And that you know the consequence behind mm-hmm. what mm-hmm. could it could happen. Mm-hmm. And that you will be prepared and you would mm-hmm. fight the yeah. person back. Yeah. Well, life caught her off guard. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, even I'm dark, you don't get to fight. But, but, but I'm not going to tell my cousin, my friend, you know. I'm probably like, I'm probably like, okay, stop or whatever. Of course, you don't want nobody to be fighting. Regardless, no, okay, if you can, talk, if you talk can, about it. What? Stop. Some people don't want to talk about it, especially if you drove but, her husband's car right. to the restaurant. We but, talk about it. Long as it's not in any other people. We can do it. Hey, she was like, I'm saying, Joel, there's no compromise. There's no talking. There's no talking. Yeah. I mean, because <laughs> you kind of like, you that bold. There ain't no talking. Right. And that comes with consequences. You know? So. If you bold enough to do, then you grown enough to step into that situation. You gotta be grown enough to take what comes with it. Ooh, so I feel like this has occurred before. I can just sense it, like I can see it. Mm-hmm. I'm sure it has occurred <laughs> plenty of times. I never TV witnessed is. that, but well, I seen on TV, but I never witnessed no, why. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> I never witnessed a wife comes in and start whooping somebody mm-hmm. like. I just Wait well, a little longer. Yeah, it may. You may win this in life, or you may not. Nah, that ain't. Mm-hmm. You never know because you don't know what your friends are doing. doing. And they might not tell you. And what then they're you got to think about it. Let's even remove the fact of husband or wife or whatever. That's just you have you have people that's just dating, and then they'll see him with another female, and they want to fight the female. Mm-hmm. Here's, that's here's the crazy that's part tacky. about it is. This was single man. He can date who he wanted to date. That's happy. Just like the woman. And why would you single. fight? Okay, we should be boyfriend. Why would you fight another female over a boy? Like, but it happens. Don't you have friends that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like that for me. That, that it happens. I feel like, girl, to, you or showed up. They've done to it. fight my friends because of my boyfriend. He was probably community type of guy anyway. Like everybody in the community share him. Yeah. <laughs> it happens. It happens. But I'm just. So saying. that's what I'm saying. You know what? That stuff like in high school. Girl, that happened in real life. No, I know it happens life. in real life, but I'm just saying. That's like, your lifetime right there. Oh, my <laughs> yeah. God. Well, that's the end of the show. So, that is it, guys. Make sure you follow us on social media and stay tuned for the next video. <laughs> Bye. Well, charge? Yeah, it's charge. Oh, it's fully charged. That red means it's recording. So you've been recording all this time? Yes. Mm-hmm. I like to add blooper. Don't add blooper. Troy, you're not Kim Kardashian. Couldn't be. Trust me, I don't want to be. Look at that. Look how high I'm up. Okay, just sit no, up. So you're fine. fine. Wait, what if my legs no. are my legs are ashy? What well, you sure <laughs> Are we live? Why don't you do some stuff? Don't you do all your shorts? Okay, let's let's see. Okay. It's kind of weird for it to be on the back. Yeah, it's kind of We won't need to see. Let's go. I like to see myself. No, you'll see yourself once. Okay. You ready?